Senator Gold. Last year, Whitecap Dakota Nation celebrated Parliament's unanimous and long overdue passage of Bill C-51, giving effect to a treaty recognizing their nation's right to self-government within the meaning of Section 35 of the Constitution. The ancestors of this proud Dakota community located near Saskatoon were crucial allies of the British during the War of 1812. However, all these many years, they were treated as a second-class First Nation, subjected to the same attempted assimilation while deprived of treaty rights, including equitable lands and other benefits. Senator Gold, a year has expired since the new treaty became law. However, the government has not entered into negotiations with White Cap Dakota to put them on an equal footing with treaty First Nations. Will the government commit to doing the right thing? Senator Gold. Well, thank you for your question and for, and, and for your advocacy as well. I'm afraid that I don't have an answer to provide to you that's any different than that I provided to our colleague, Senator On. And I've raised the question as recently as yesterday, indeed, as recently as this morning, uh, because I repeated it, um, uh, understanding the importance of this question. I've yet to receive a response, and of, of course, uh, I will... Uh, I, uh, I will continue uh, to use my best efforts to get an answer as quickly as possible. Senator Klein. Senator Gold, justice delayed is justice denied. Will the government commit to a timeline to enter long overdue negotiations with ICAP Dakota Nation to fulfill the commitments of Bill C-51 to realize equitable lands and other benefits for Canada's treaty partner? That's the right thing for our government to do. Senator Gold. Again, I appreciate your, uh, uh, your, 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 the follow-up question, but again, I'm not in a position to uh, comment on timelines, uh, but I do uh, commit to continue to bring this to the ministers of attention. Uh, it, it's, it, it's an important question, uh, and, uh, but I don't have an answer for you at this juncture. 